Christ, today I felt like today I felt like uh, doing some PvP. I had to get my uh, rank back up. I fell down for some reason. I can't remember why. Uh, yeah, I didn't play, and then I fell, and I think I lost one, and then um, it dropped me like all kinds. So I'm a challenger now. I was in champion. Do pretty well in champion, but I do pretty well in champion only because I don't play a whole lot. Uh, as you can see here, I've only got like 70 total matches, and people are at like, you know, hitting several hundred at this point, and people at the top of... Hold on. Okay, now that's out of the way. Uh, let's see, let's go back to... Yeah, so, uh, like if you're in high, like, Legend Arena, uh, RTA, all those people have like thousands of matches. <clears throat> I think, anyway, I mean, I haven't really paid attention, but yeah, so... Let's see if I can't get back in, into uh, into Champion League at least. Uh, rank thirteen eighty four. That's not too bad. I think with like a couple. I think if I win five in a row, if I might get up there. I don't know. Uh, let's just hope I don't lose. Is the only problem. Uh, fighting against. I usually just ban um, Basar. I just don't like dealing with him. Uh, if I get first pick, I always go for SSB, just because she's broken. Okay. Um, let's see what we do in this case. So, basically I always pick SSB with uh, CC. I guess my question in this case is I want to go... Go with the U. Why not? Okay, so after these next two picks, I'll start counter picking. I'll try to figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, it's really only until you're at this point where it's like you start either counter picking or you start sort of thinking about who you're gonna ban. Um, like you could say, "Oh, I'm gonna ban uh, Avil," but it's like you know, they could pick something else. Uh, I think what I would do in his situation here is maybe go with something like, um, what's her name, Alencia. Uh, not that I have too many buffs, but the shield, like it'll good for it'll be good for taking off the shield uh, right off the bat, and then not have to worry about that main one later. And even if um, they don't have a lot of buffs, because a lot of time you just pick her into people who have a lot of buffs, even if they don't have that, um, Alencia is still pretty good. So this is what I mean. So at this point, what I'm thinking is I'm probably just going to hit C-Dom, but I think the next person he's going to pick is going to be, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's her name? Um, Oxlots, which is kind of bothersome. So if he does pick Oxlots, I'm going to just hit Vildred, uh, even though she's probably going to one-shot somebody. Um, and you really don't want to let her through, but you know, she doesn't have a lot of damage. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with Dizzy because he doesn't have any cleanse and it's gonna irritate the shit out of him. Um, and I don't see why not Valencia. My Valencia is not that good, so that's the main reason why not. But we'll try it out anyway. All right. So if I'm right, I think it should be Oxlots here. So if it's Oxlots here, oh, very interesting. Um. Uh, yeah, Caesar autos can be a huge pain, but I don't think, yeah, I think I just ban him because, all right, it's like I can't use her S3, but it's not that big a deal because she has an S1 and an S2, so that's fine. And she doesn't have any way to cleanse. I see. I say she in terms of like talking to this person, but I don't know, it could be he or she, but yeah. I'm just going to hit that. Um, hopefully this is a hard enough decision for him to try to figure out who to, who to ban on my side. I lost Dizzy, okay. Um, yeah, that's fine, I think. Yeah, I don't have, so sometimes the Caesar Autos are either on Ayala's or they're on Abyssal, and I don't really have a whole lot of buffs to strip. Um, but here goes this, so he's gonna S I, forget, I don't know what her moves are. I don't. I don't have her, but I just know she has them. Is the AOE? I think the AOE is 
and her S2, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so here comes this. So she's gonna soul burn. People have soul burn and just straight up killed for 18k. Like on turn one, not even like getting stacks or anything. Ooh, very interesting. Okay, so this is good because he's he's gonna go all out trying to kill her. I could just revive her, and Alencia is gonna go with her S3, drop this buff, this defense buff. Wow, she's still not dead, dude. So he either has to spend an attack on her or do what he's gonna do and just hit her. Oh, he's gonna reset. Let's see if I can resist this. I think I can't because she cleared the buff. Four turn increase. So I resisted something. I guess it was the other one. One of them was resisted. Uh, of course, this happens. Okay. So at this point, I'm gonna do this. Let's see how many buffs I can strip. Uh, let's hit him with this. Okay, so this is good. I think uh, I think I might have this. I don't think this is too big a deal. This uh, crowd is getting me nervous a little bit, but that's fine. Oh, so it does... It says I resisted something. What did I resist if it reduced both of them? That's very interesting. I am going to just hit you with this. She's gonna hit her because she needs to take the def the yeah. See, it, it went away before I even did anything. Because uh, it needs to drop the what's it called. So I guess the next target is just gonna he's just gonna hit her over and over again. Um, which is fine. He's probably gonna S three her, which is gonna be a waste on his part, but that's fine. He might S three her, but I don't think it's gonna do very much. So let's find out. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Because at this point, they don't have anything. I just need to make sure she survives, and she probably will. Look at that, 17. So they're not doing any damage to her, and she'll just heal herself. Uh, the biggest threat here to me is going to be this. So I'm just going to get rid of her as soon as possible. He's going to strip the defense buff, which is fine. Yep. And then she should be dead. Okay. So the next target is going to have to be her. Uh, I think she can go with her S3 or whatever her combos again. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's fine. See? Uh, okay, so this is up again, which is bad news. Okay, so that's good. I can just target her. Oh, so that's what the S1 does. Okay. Okay. At this point, I think I have this, but I'm not sure. Okay. I think I'm just gonna heal um, MLCC, because the S2 is gonna come up before the S3, and the S3, I'm not sure, I still haven't decided who I'm gonna revive with the S3 yet. The, wor the real thing I'm worried about though is CC, because the, the person I'm working on, I'm going to be hitting last, is going to be uh, Zerato. And oh, he's going to he's gonna S3 her again, I think, because I think it's up. Oh uh, yeah, it's up. Okay. So there we go. What does that do? Does that ignore effect resistance? Cause that's kind of interesting. Yeah, so. That's pretty interesting. I just have to build up souls, I guess. I don't know. I, I think I might lose this hit now. She'll probably die, but the, the thing is, will she die before um, I can regenerate these uh, these skills back? Zerato's here basically not doing anything, because again, I don't have any debuffs. I'm saving him for the end, but uh, this... Um, what is it called? The, the, the Fury buff or some shit?
I have Water's Origin on her, by the way, and as you can see, it's doing sweet piss all. Uh, now, see at this point, now I'm worried that um, this guy, yeah, he's got his S3 up, so that's kind of irritating. And Water's Origin from proc again. Yeah. So I simultaneously have too much HP to consistently proc Water's Origin with her, but then not enough for her to survive, because she's always dying. Uh, trust me, it, get, it gets on my nerves. Okay, so she's dead. Cool. So now I won't have to worry about him resetting my skills anymore, so we're all just going to focus down um, this guy here. If I miss one of these uh, provoke chances, I think it's over, so we really need to be careful here. Okay. I mean, careful. I really need to be lucky is what the word is, but uh, yeah. So this is a... We're on the... What's the word? The, the knife's edge here, basically. I think I'm gonna do this on you. I'm gonna S3. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so I'm going to revive somebody. This is a kind of a lose-lose situation either way, I think. Because Everybody I have here has a debuff, so Zerato isn't that impactful, but like now that I'm running out of targets to hit that aren't him. Okay. And he's also doing more damage now, so... And he's dead. Holy Sacrifice, okay cool. If I defense break here, oh my gosh. Okay, so we got death broken. Uh, let's do this. It's like you never land a defense break with her. When you want to. Yeah, this is it. I think this is over. Um, she's about to attack. I'm about to heal. We all have these uh, skill nulls. So let's do this. I think Alencia needs one good S3 and he might die. Because he might die off of this, honestly. Yeah, he just, he just left. Okay. Uh, 15. Let's go see where I am now. I <laughs> kept that guy out of challenger. He was rank one masters. Well, that was fast. Yeah, that's just pretty good. Um, it's just it gets a little nerve wracking in that situation because like your defense, her S one defense breaks, and like I said, it'll always defense break when you don't want it to, um, and it'll almost always trigger on him. So in this case, I usually lose uh, Seaside Bologna. If they don't, this is this is kind of like what puts me in a good position because I never ban. Um, a Vildred, um, and they'll usually ban A Vildred. Either they'll ban him or they don't ban him because they have him. So if they do have him, they'll first pick him, which leaves Seaside Bologna open for me. Um, so in yeah, same. So in RTA, this generally tends to be my strategy: is like don't uh, ban Vildred because there's a higher chance they'll have Seaside than they will have Vildred. Uh, where is Fallen CC? There's a higher chance they'll have Seaside over Vildred. So I want to make sure to put myself in a position where if they do have Vildred, they'll go for Vildred and then leave me open seaside. Uh, okay, so right now, I feel like the biggest thing is I should get rid of her just because she's such a huge pain. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. My answer to her is usually just taking... Um, what's her name? Okay, so right now, it's looking like... It's, yeah, actually that's kind of a bad thing, because um, like I said, my answer to her was usually just bringing, um, let's see, there's no debuffs. This is risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
like choosing her this early. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go with her, and I'm just gonna go with uh, Ruel again. Ah, uh, Ruel. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm starting to think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's tricky. This guy's a higher rank than that last guy, so he probably his uh, ML Letica probably has a decent amount of um, a decent amount of effectiveness. And the the, the biggest problem is usually just um, she. Like I have 167 effective resistance, and I, she usually gets debuffed anyway. Uh, a villager is probably going to debuff her, which that's going to suck, but you know it is what it is. Okay, so now this is a problem. I think, so you, she can soul burn obviously to double, but I think what I do here, this is bad, this is very bad, um, what I think I do here is just going to go with Alencia. Uh, I think I go him to get rid of the souls, she probably has some, but... I can strip her her buffs with uh, Valencia anyway. The thing is, all of these are gonna take a turn because of Athletica. Yeah, this is uh, I got, I think I got outdrafted here. I think I wouldn't disagree with that. Um, I really didn't get rid of this immunity too. Okay, so she took. Yeah, this is bad. Um, I think I, I probably lost this just. at a basic level here. Um, you never want to do this, what I'm doing here, but there's really no other option. Uh, my other option was, I was thinking, and I was thinking about this too, was to take Crow instead of Valencia. Um, and that would have been, that would left me safe because the only thing I had was, was her as my, uh, my tank. The problem is that like, the, the defense discrepancy between uh, Ruel and uh, SSB is so high that basically you just target SSB and she'll kill Ruel by damage sharing, um, which it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah, so she boosted everybody up, but the two main attackers are still behind, so I think I can... Oh, he's going to hit Alencia, so I won't have the uh, S3 to, to do that. We'll see what happens. Um, I think his target here should be, yeah, it should be Alencia. Okay. So I think... Okay, so now I get the S2, and they, of course, they get the uh, skill null. I get a little bit of damage, of course. Um, okay, so I don't have a strip anymore, which kind of sucks, but... This is why I've been thinking I should run, um, run her on that. Let's hit, because A Villager's just going to hit us and he's going to do whatever he does. Let's... I want to use the S3 on somebody. Yeah, because Jake, he says he's just going to... I'm going to use it on her, because there's two cleavers coming up. Jake is says going first, so she's going to S2 and probably uh, wipe the the, uh, in the invincibility off of her, which is fine. Um, the S3, well, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, so she, she went for that. Um, at least she didn't take the damage. So now he's going to S... Of course, he got the uh, Lexus proc. Uh, let's see how this goes. So now it's my turn to S3. I still, yeah, I think this, yeah, this is basically over. I don't have any like, yeah, that uh, Alencia was the pick that I chose that costed me the most. That and the simple fact that, um, and you know, getting that twice in a row. Triggering it for two 40s in a row is 16% chance that happens, and it happens a lot. But yeah, that's it. Uh, so the biggest problem is Faithless Lyrica. Uh, 
this guy here, Avil, isn't that big a deal. I can, I mean, usually I'll just let him, like I said, I usually let him go through. And Avil wasn't what lost me there. Um, it was the Athletica. Uh, Athletica's ability to just, like, remove someone's S3 is, like, the most dangerous thing there. Um, so, yeah. Where, there you go. Run before it's too late. Wow. I think so. I guess that's a lesson to be learned is maybe I should start um, pre banning Athleticas. Uh, who the fuck? What was it? What was I gonna do? Oh, yeah, I was gonna go with uh, let's go with CC. I don't know how long this is. Okay, I might do this. Probably just do like a half an hour um, section here. Uh, I want AoEs. Just to hit that. So I'll probably go with Alencia here. Yeah, Alencia can just like crap all over her. Okay. So, so far, there's not a whole lot that can counter pick here. I've, I got a pretty good balance. Like, if he picks. Um... Oh, that's a very good pick. Uh, if he picks. K Ron. Okay, so I, I kind of have to force the ban this. So let's see. It depends on his last pick, but yeah, let's see what I can do about this. It's weird, he has F we know he has Athletica because of this, but he hasn't chosen her, which is sort of confuses me. Not confuses me, just like worries me. Um, this is kind of hard. Uh, she doesn't debuff, she does, and he does. And I can get a defense break by using him. But no one's gonna target him, and he's too slow. I think I'm just gonna go with, uh, Violet here. This is a bad decision, um, but I went with it anyway. Um, I think Charles might have been a better... Might have been better there. Um, kind of pigeonholed myself into that. Yeah, I think Charles would have been better because I was going to ban Rowana no matter what. I always find it interesting too because people choose Rowana and then they ban Seaside. So I think, yeah, it's very interesting. Um, like, I don't know why you would ban... Oh, there you go. Yeah, that happens a lot. It's like people will ban, will pick Rowana and then ban Seaside for some reason. So, it's a, it, yeah, just, just a gamble um, on both sides. Uh, this should be... Fine. I don't have any cleansers. I don't have any healers, but neither does he. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I think I'll do this one in one more fight, and then we'll go from there. Uh, this is a bit uneventful, just because I'm in so low a ranking. Okay. Let's get your apple up. I'm going to get rid of this. I want to get rid of this flurry and this clurry as fast as possible. So he's gonna kill her with uh, her, which is fine. That's the thing with with uh, with flurry. If you don't like Falconer Clary, is if you don't like pick in a certain if you don't pick in a certain way against her, um, <laughs> uh, of course he didn't dodge. Yeah, uh, for those of you, I have a Max Streamblade and obviously his passive. Uh, but for those of you who've never seen uh, anything else of mine, like my Guild Wars, he doesn't dodge, um, like ever. Um, okay, let's hit this. Uh, as you can see there, I think. Normal probably would have dropped her down. Like she only has nine thousand HP, so I think I should have done way more damage. Not, I'm not saying the damage she did wasn't in um, what she should have done. I'm saying like if you want a um, oh wow, if you want a good Alencia, she should have done way more damage than what she did there. What she did there was atrocious. 
Uh, so there's really no one to hit here. Because hitting her gave her that um, Mind's Eye proc, which is pretty interesting, because I guess that means... Okay, he can't, yeah, he can't counter that. Uh, she's gonna hit him, and, she's, and he's gonna die. Oh, I forgot, see, she hit him, right? So, as all of you can see, my Violet doesn't dodge for shit. Okay. It's Clary's turn. If he hits him and he dodges... Yeah, see? Of course, I only hit the one that I don't want to hit. Specifically for what's about to happen now. Yeah, so my... my the biggest problem with my Alencia is she doesn't hit. Um, she doesn't hit very hard. Or at all, really. Uh, I'm missing... I'm just missing too many stats. You wanna, you want more HP than I have. She's got like 23 and uh, higher uh, crit damage. She's running uh, HP neck and an HP ring, which there you go. So he dodges when it's not convenient. So he's gonna dodge. He's, he's probably he might dodge her. I don't know, but yeah, it's. Yeah, see, it's incredibly asinine. It's what sort of it's what sort of like bothers me, because I really do want to um, I really do want to pull for ML Violet, but it I doubt it'll be useful because I just know he's never gonna dodge anything. Now, it is sort of me complaining a lot. Ideally, you want, if you're gonna be running um, Violet or like well, you know, in the future maybe ML Violet, um, but Violet period, you're really gonna want him to um, to run Fat Cat with him. Uh, but you can't, which is why he's not very good. Um, as you can see, like if you look at top tier uh, RTA, no one's running, uh, no one's running Violet at all. Uh, I think this should be over. Yeah, she's gonna die. Oh wow, he didn't crit. She still almost didn't die. Uh, I think this is over at this point. Um, Clary. What lost me there was the Clary pick. If Clary wasn't there, she would have S3 and, and whatever. Um, Ruana, I might have just been able to leave Ruana there, but uh, this, what's his name? This pick down here that I had, um, Violet, was not good. I should have gone with like uh, Charles. Um, so I should probably banned Clary because I knew that's what he was gonna do. Um, was hit the uh, the S3 off of this. Uh, we'll sit the S3 off of this and then just alley open to someone else. Um, this should have been probably Charles and then he would have like done something. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I'll do one more and then uh, I'll call it there. Uh, so you, you can see why I am I got knocked down to Challenger. I'm not like the best in my gear. A lot of my units aren't geared for RTA. Um, yeah, I just don't have a lot of top tier RTA picks. I don't have cleave, uh, cleave teams set up. Oh, I forgot. I actually do have. I have ML lots, but the thing is with lots is um, you don't want to run. Like just having lots does not guarantee cleaving, right? You want to have like units that can go around them. So you want like the you want the ten Cenebrium. You want and then you need other one other CR pushers with him. So you'll need. Uh, let's get rid of somebody here. I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, I really don't like fighting Liticas. Where is Lydica? Ranger. Wait, that's Lydica. I don't think he has her. This is another thing. I'm missing a lot of RTA units. Like, let's, I mean, who here is good at RTA? She, I hear she's pretty decent. Uh, she's alright. But I'm missing, you know, like, a Little Queen Charlotte's. Well, for one, I'm missing any and all, um, uh, not, uh, offensive... Let's see. I'm missing all offensive. Uh... Come on. Let's go with. Where are you? Missing any and all offensive ML5 units. The only one I have is her, and I had a pity on the Mystic rotation for her. Um. But yeah, so. Let's see, should I bring you into this? 
I'm probably gonna bring you and uh, where is Ruel? She's down here somewhere. Yep, there she is. Oh, actually, that was a bad decision. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Actually, uh, and then I'll bring. So I think what's gonna kill me here is a lack of damage, because I'm probably gonna bring Angelic Montmorency. But I think it's it's between her and Crow. So if I if I bring the thing is if I bring Crow, he's just gonna ban Ruel, and that'll be like that's him sorted. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I think I really do want to ban this C um, Dom, but this uh, this Dizzy here is annoying. Yeah, so I just got over damaged here. There's nothing I can really do about this now. Uh, let's do this. Um, he's either gonna. It's one of these two. Probably not him, just because he's not gonna be a big enough deal. Um, so here I'm really relying on RNG that like stuff lands on him and he he survives long enough to do what he he see he, what he's here to do. Uh, so let's do this. Let's see what I get hit with. Oh, very interesting. Okay. So I don't have... Like, none of my units have immunity, which is a problem. Uh, that Dizzy... That Dizzy's at like 100% effectiveness. She's gonna land... I guarantee you she's gonna land the slow. At Like, it doesn't matter what the effectiveness calculation is, what we end up having or not having. She's gonna land the slow on uh, Ruel here. Okay, so let's... Wow, she actually triggered that? That's interesting. Uh, this guy has no internet connection. This would be really disappointing if I just get the win because he, like, disconnects or some shit. So I run, th I run this a lot. Um, let's... Let's get this turn cycling, so I'm just gonna heal you. Uh, let's do... So they're not gonna get- they don't have buffs, they're not gonna get buffs. Um... Wow, this is really bad. How is he allowed to still stay in the- there should be some sort of timeout thing, cause like, holy shit. Uh, so let's do this. So as you can- you'll, you'll see again here, she doesn't- she doesn't do anywhere near enough damage. Um, for one, she's missing like 20% Molagora from her Molagora for the S3. Well, I actually did a lot better than uh, last time. Um, might just be like, he, he, she seems really weak. I didn't pay attention to that HP, but that is like, that's pitiful. Um, he did better damage here. So let's do... I should, I really should. I think I'm gonna S1 her. Oh wow, yeah, it's over. Two stuns, yay. Yeah, so I really should have done the S3 there, that was my fault. How much HP does this... Damn, 8,000. That's nothing. Um, but no, that's not what I was wondering. I was wondering how much HP this um, SSB has. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I don't know why... It lets these matches even connect. Like, I mean, even if it's me, it's like, you know, just give me the L, like, I'll, I'll you know, I'll gladly get out of here, but, like, the bar is just telling me it's him, but I don't 100% believe it is just him. Uh, so at this point, I think he's just gonna S3, I don't know why he's thinking it over, I guess he wants the yes 2 for maybe the, the crowd defense break, or, yeah, okay, I was like, I don't know what the decision making is here, but yeah, you just hit this and everybody's debuffed. Wow, that Dizzy has no effectiveness whatsoever. So I think since she's next, I might just hit the, uh, use an S1 too, or S3, I mean. I think the next move here, let's see how much damage he does to him. Wow, that is that is a tanky uh, Bologna. I think he's just gonna S3, and then maybe Crow will be low enough to like 
S3 someone else. I should have paid attention to that Dizzy's HP, but I didn't. Wow, that does no damage whatsoever. Like, even a defense broken crowd, it was just like, he was just sitting there and he was just like, oh, whatever. Um. So she's at like 15,000 HP. So he's gonna S2 and not hit crowd. Wow, nobody here does any damage. What's going on here? I'm so confused. I didn't see his HP. Uh, I need you up. This team is really confusing me. I don't know what's going on. Uh, there's a lot of debuffs on this team. She was not the right choice for this, but it is what it is. I've been debating a lot, but I think... Like the way it is now, Dizzy really needs to be paired up with somebody. So let's do... Let's do you. I really don't like this. Oh, I keep forgetting she's on counter, so it's not... you don't want to do that. Okay. Okay, so now this my got fourteen. I think he can just straight up one shot the seaside. Uh if not oh, this is really gonna suck, but yeah, let's try it. He's at fourteen, he should hit her for fourteen hundred. She's not exactly Let's see. Yes, 16. A little higher. Um, so that's good. Uh, the next thing is I'm just going to take out this um, Dizzy here. Uh, if Crow dies right now, it's fine. He's, he already got his uh, S3 off. And of course, wow, he landed the stun on um, this girl over here. Okay, so the next thing he's going to do is going to S2. He's going to hit her, maybe hit someone else. Okay, so she should be at the point where she can heal herself. Yes, she can. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I, obviously, you're going to burn the heal on her because I need her to um, revive one of these guys. As long as Alencia... Alencia is where my damage is coming from, essentially. As long as Alencia is alright, uh, it should be fine. Uh, then he died, so right now we can... So she won't put it on herself, but this is fine regardless. Plus I'll be hitting... Um, what's her name there? When it's Ruel's turn again, I'm just going to revive uh, CC because she's going to die here. Or I guess not. Um, well now she's going to die. Okay. So I think he has this 3 back, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Okay. So he's going to do more damage. Okay, so let's... Oh, the revive isn't up yet. That's weird. I didn't know that. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so S3 time. Okay, so I killed the one person I wasn't supposed to kill. They got defense buff. Um, where do you get that? Oh my gosh, dude. You see, like... Okay, so it's her turn again. She'll revive. Okay, so what... Oh shit, I need to check this real quick. She's got the S3. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna revive um, her real quick here. Is this the, is this the right choice? Probably not, um, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, so she's gonna hit her with the S3, or she's gonna soul burn and then hit her with the S3, so that'll be, she'll be dead, yeah. So she's dead, he's gonna hit her with the S3. And she got stunned anyway. 
Uh, I'm... Okay, so he's just wailing away on her. He's got a lot of speed. Well, it's a combination of having decent speed and, um... Wow, that's a lot of damage. Having decent speed and uh, pushing me back with the S1. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I think, please tell me it's up. No, it's not. Uh. So I'm probably going to lose this because... Yeah, this is it. Uh, he's going to S3. So this Frenzy is what it's called. I keep thinking it's Fury. Okay, so I'm gonna. I mean, this. I don't know if this will kill him, but yeah, I'm gonna kill him eventually, uh, and then she's just gonna kill me anyway. Um, he's gonna revive because his revives up already. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, yeah, and that's, I guess that's that. But yeah, so, he took Dizzy. Um, I would have won if I had taken that Dizzy instead. Uh, he basically took, like, my whole team. He took SSB and Dizzy. Uh, so if you can, let's go take a look at my barracks. <laughs> if you can see, that's the other main reason I don't win a lot in uh, RTA. I have a lot of good units, but I don't have a lot of good RTA units. Um, most of my RTA units boil down to... Like, if I ever win, it's just because SSB is here. Because um, I have SSB and I have a counter Dizzy. Uh, and that's about it. Um, I've never won off the back of any other unit. Uh, she's very good, but as you can see here, these stats are pretty crap. Um, but I'm working on it. This helmet, I just got this helmet. It's, it's pretty good. I like it. Um, yeah. I, I wish I'd gotten more uh, health rolls, but that, that's all right. Or at least at least a, like an eight to 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 start there. Um, but yeah, I don't have a whole lot of PVP units. Um, th that that last guy beat me not because he had better units. I mean, I got that close with what I did, but like he took my whole uh, RTA team aside from like her and uh, my healer. But all my most of the time I win, it comes off the damage of uh, SSB. So. Uh, if any of you out there find me in RTA, just know that uh, if you either take or ban SSB, like that's it. My whole game is is gone. I don't I don't have any other good RTA units. Um, but yeah, so there you go.